Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be setting up your iPhone. Now, keep in mind, I have two different videos. This one is for brand new users. So if you're brand new to iPhone, maybe you had an Android before, this is the video for you. If you have been a user before, so you have another iPhone, you just wanna transfer your stuff, that's another video. Now, before we get started with anything, let's just go over the basics. Right here, you will see on the left-hand side of your phone, you're gonna see this. So these are your volume. Okay, so let's put it up, down. This will make it vibrate if you want. And you just want silence really quick. This one again, right here is your SIM card. You don't need to insert a SIM card in order to activate this phone, but you can if you want to right now, you might as well do it. And on the other side, it's gonna be your power button or your Siri button. Now what SIM card works with this phone? It doesn't have to be this brand. This is just a carrier. You can get any carrier that you want and as long as they give you something like this, you should be fine. So let me just take out this whole thing. So see this huge thing? Yeah, old phones used to use that. Some phones still use this. So these are just adapters. And what you want to do is take out all these adapters off. And you're gonna choose the smallest one. So this is the SIM card that's gonna fit on your phone. It's the smallest one, it's the nano one. If you had one from an iPhone 10, for example, that's gonna fit 11, 12, 13, all those are compatible. So you can go out and transfer it or just get a new one. Usually they're free or they're really cheap from your carrier. I would suggest if you can go ahead and get a new one, why not? Or just go ahead and put in the SIM card. You're gonna see that it works just fine. So how do you install the SIM card? Well, this came in your box with your iPhone. And see this key? You need that key. If you don't have it, don't worry, use an earring. And there you go. Earrings work just fine. I've done it a hundred times. Anyways, so right here, you're gonna see that slot. So I'm just gonna get a better angle so you guys can see what I'm doing. There you go, there you go. So just apply some pressure and this will pop up. Once it pops up, just grab with your fingers, slide it out, and here we go. That's where your SIM card's gonna go. So how do you place your SIM card here? Well, it's gonna go this way. If you guys put it in backwards, it's not gonna fit, it's not gonna work. And as long as it looks like so, you're good. So once again, I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit better so you guys can see what I'm doing. And here we go. That's it. That's all you guys have to do. So that's how you guys can insert your SIM card on your brand new iPhone. Right now we can just turn on our phone. Again, you do not need to do this. You can do this, but it's no big deal if you don't set up your phone with a SIM card. All right, so now that we put in our SIM card, or you didn't, doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you how to charge your phone. See this cable that came with your phone? This cable, you're gonna need to buy a brick if you wanna plug it into your wall. Cause you're gonna plug this part in. So you need to buy a brick that has USB-C. There's lots of them. There's one that's compatible also with iPads, which is great because it's gonna charge your iPhone just a little bit faster. But it's really your choice. You could even plug this into your computer, which is what I do and just charge it there. So once you hook that up, you just hook up this end right here on your phone and that's how you charge it up. But your phone already has some battery in it, so you don't need to do that in order to set this up. Plus, if you're having any difficulties, you have any problems, you could hook this up to your computer and just go on with the setup throughout your computer instead of doing it on your phone. But anyways, to turn on your phone for the very first time, you're gonna see this, this is your Siri button or your power button. Hold on to it and keep holding on to it until you see an Apple logo popping up, which is right there. After just a little bit, you should see this. Just go ahead and swipe up. Then choose whatever language you would like. We're gonna go with the English in this case. Then go ahead and choose your region. It can be any one of these. So just scroll down and choose your region. By the way, they wanna mention that anything that we set up right now, we can change later on in our settings if we change our minds. But anyways, we're just gonna choose Canada for now. This is if you had a phone before. However, if you don't, if you don't have an iPad, you can't transfer anything. Actually, when you're transferring stuff from your iPad, it transfers some stuff, but not everything. So it's not the best thing. But anyways, if you did have contacts and stuff like that, that will transfer even throughout iCloud. You don't really need to have your iPad beside you. Once you log into your iCloud, you're gonna see that. Anyways, assuming you guys are brand new, we can go on to set up manually. So right here, we can just choose our network. So we're gonna go on and choose this, because that's mine. By the way, if you're doing the setup with hotspot, sometimes it just doesn't work. So I recommend actual Wi-Fi. Once you press on join, it should just connect up unless you have your password wrong. Everything should be working fine. And yes, you do need internet in order for this to work. 
So right now, it may take a few minutes to activate your phone. It's very important that you activate your phone with an iCloud ID. You don't technically need one. You can always skip that step, but I do have a separate video that shows you exactly how to fill out and how to get an iCloud ID because it's very important, especially if you lose your phone or anything like that. You can blacklist it. You can iCloud lock it. You can even track it down really, really easily to see where it is. Anyways, we're just going to continue on. Face ID, you can set this up or you can set it up later. Assuming you guys are new, we're just gonna set it up and we'll teach you how to do this. So we're gonna go on and press on continue. And you just have to do what it tells you right here. Basically in a circular fashion, and then you're set up with the face ID. Again, you could have skipped this, but we're gonna go ahead and do it right now. But again, I do wanna mention that if you don't wanna import any personal information inside here, just press cancel right now. And just going to set up later. You do not need Face ID. You do not need iCloud. You don't need anything to set up your phone, especially for people who are selling it. You just want to have it activated so the person who's buying it from you can test it out really quick. Then go ahead and just skip everything basically and you're pretty much done. But again, I'm just going to go into continuous and get started just to show you how this works. So here I am. I'm just going to look around. I'm going to be surprised if this works because my tripod's in the way. All right, so this part is basically because of COVID. You can use Face ID with a mask on or you have to take it off. So it's your choice. Most of you want to be able to use Face ID to access your phone without taking off your mask if you have to wear one. So we're going to go on and use Face ID with a mask. And we're just going to scan right, right again all the way around. Face ID is now set up. So we can go on and click on continue on. All right, so in this case, we do need to create a passcode and that's because we have Face ID. If we didn't have Face ID set up, then we don't need to do this. And usually if you go into passcode options, you do have something that tells you to set up later, skip, or just not use a passcode. For now, I'm just gonna cancel this and I'm just gonna put a passcode. Just make sure to remember your passcode because you do have to put it in twice. So as long as they match, you should be okay. And right here is if you had any information, you had an iCloud, you would transfer stuff over. If you're brand new, you wouldn't. This is for new users. So we're going to go ahead and don't transfer apps. Now, this is the part where, again, you could skip this. All right. So you can go right into here, this down option, and you can just set up later in settings. Again, that's if you guys don't want to import any personal information, just set up later in settings and just proceed with the next stuff. Now, if you're brand new to this, you don't have an app ID, this is your chance to go on and create a free app ID. So we can always do that. Tap on there. It's just going to ask you some basic information. So right here, you're just going to continue. You put on your email and then you're pretty much done. But maybe you followed my other video about creating Apple ID before even doing the setup. Then just put in your Apple ID, which is your email, your password, and then just keep going. For now, we're just going to choose setup later in settings because we don't want to use our Apple ID at this point. But again, I highly suggest putting an Apple ID if you're brand new to iPhone and this will be yours. Keep your iPhone up to date. Yeah, we can change that up later on. By the way, we can just turn off. Actually, we can change any settings that you set up right now. We're going to go on to continue. Now, regardless if you're selling this or not, you should put enable location services just so the person who's testing this out can go ahead and take a look at it. And if you're a new person to this iPhone, it's really useful just for Google Maps and just maps in general. So we're going to go ahead and enable that. So right here, it tells us that we can transfer a phone number. Actually, we can just go on and put in our SIM card and that's it. We don't really have to transfer from a nearby phone or anything like that. However, at this point, it does detect that we didn't put in a SIM card because I took it out. So we're just going to set that up later in settings. And hey, a lot of you won't even have a SIM. A SIM is basically because there's a SIM card already built into the phone. That's why you can have two numbers in your phone. You can have the phone number from your SIM card and then a eSIM, which is the SIM card that's pre-built into it. So that's what this means about transferring. But yeah, we're just gonna skip this. Now this is Siri. Again, you would just select set up later in settings, but that's only if you don't wanna import any information. Other than that, go ahead and press continue because this is your phone. You want Siri to work with you. You can select the voice of Siri. I'm just gonna go for Hi, one for it I'm now. Siri. Choose the voice and going to next. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. So all I did was read 
exactly what he told me on the screen, just do that and just hit on continue. So he recognizes your voice. So it tells you how to ask Siri. You don't really need to press anything. All it's telling you that you can press this button here, which you can. You just need to say, hey, Siri, and then it's going to go ahead and assist you. Go ahead and continue. This is up to you. You can share your audio recordings or not. I don't really care, so I'm going to go on. Screen time. Screen time is mostly for parents. So if you're giving this to your child, set up screen time. You can set up restrictions and a bunch of stuff so your kids have limited time right here. However, if this is for you, you most likely just want to skip this. And right here, I would suggest go on and share with Apple. You don't have to. This is just information about your cell phone, just so they can make updates according to whatever errors they see. So I'm going to share with Apple. Same goes with this, share with developers. You don't have to. Again, you can choose light mode or dark mode. Dark mode just makes it look like this, which is what I personally like. However, for this video, it's better for me to just leave it as light mode, go on, and zoom. Yeah, you can make everything a lot bigger in your phone by zoom. Or standard would look exactly how you see things. It gives you a quick sample of how it looks like. It just looks a little bit magnified. We're going to go on. Emergency OS, yeah, continue on. And we are officially done. Welcome to iPhone. So once again, these are the apps. These are standard apps that you would get in your phone. You would get nothing else. And these are all the standard apps. Let me just open up this folder so you guys can see all the apps that you get in your phone. But that's it. Let me just show you this folder. And like I said, if you want to download social media, like I mentioned before, go on and check out the App Store and start downloading. Of course, you need an Apple ID for that. So just make sure you have that activated. But again, if you didn't want to import anything personal right now, it wouldn't have anything personal in it as long as you skipped everything. And yes, the first thing you want to do is go into your settings and just update your phone so just follow any updates that he needs and by the way just to close everything and set up everything so for example if we go to clock i can just swipe up and there you go that app is closed so just wanted to show you that because a lot of people forget to close their apps and then they're wondering why their phone is a little bit laggy but as long as you close some of them sometimes you should be okay anyways as far as this setup video we're all done if you guys have any comments questions you guys can write down here in comments area don't forget to subscribe and like thank you